All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and the elders of a great millstone. And it's a Sid Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in this video on judgment on a man for Turian. Okay? Now, this is a, uh, you know, Great Mills Stone, uh, Baltimore. Okay, our camp channel is Great Mills Baltimore 3, as you can see it. Okay, now, this guy right here, he used to uh, be a security guard uh, at the Bank of America, right across the street from where we used to uh, do the work at. And um, he came up, you know, before, and uh, you know we uh, we we uh, had a talk with him, you know, as as far as uh, how things go in the scriptures, you know. So and 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 from after that point, you know, he always uh, would say what's up to us, and you know, would be cool with us, and so on and so forth, you know, but. He, he never listened or, or fully did what the scriptures say. He walked away as if he knew what we were saying was the truth. But when it came down to it, he didn't listen to what the scriptures say. Now, this is the guy uh, with his family. Okay, the headline says he was just trying to make a living. Okay. Um, it says Baltimore City Police are asking for the public assistance and identifying a suspect in the murder of, of a security guard, right? So basically, this guy, he got murdered, okay, and they don't know who uh, did it, right? It says Reginald Jefferson was shot and killed Friday, you know, so on and so forth. Now, um, it says around 11 p.m., a central district officer was flagged down by a security guard who advised officers that a guard had been shot. Medics responded and pronounced the 29-year-old father of two dead on the scene. Jefferson began working at uh, the apartment complex several weeks ago. Okay. Um, oh, here go a point right here. It says... Uh, at, at a press conference Monday, Jefferson's fiance said talking to her children about their father's death was the hardest thing she had to do. She said the newly engaged dad was getting ready to celebrate his 30th birthday, you know, which is against the, the scriptures, you know. But uh, continuing on, um, it says his family members say Jefferson was a pillar in the community who, who helped start an organization to help keep tr kids off the streets. Okay. Um, let me get this scripture. Ecclesiasticus 5 and 7. It says, Make no turian to turn to the Lord. Okay. Now, in this video, okay, this is a part, and it's crazy because when he came up, okay, he came up, and he, he was saying that he was a Pan-African. Okay. And we was going through the concept of, uh, you know, uh, death and why our people are in this uh, situation that we're in. You know, we we, we had a, 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 you know, a long dialogue with them. You know, it was a cold day. You know, as you see, you know, we had coats and stuff. It was a cold day outside, you know. And we, you know, this guy came up and started asking questions about, you know, what we was... Um, teaching so i'm gonna play a little bit of, vid of the video now i gotta say this because our old camp leader who's not in there you know he he just will always be lazy on the camera you know so he went and moved the camera around as much but I'm going to uh, pause it at a certain point. That 
pictures deep. <laughs> now, as you can see, this is the security guard right here. Okay, you see the security pass. That's the same guy. Okay, so this same guy came up. Okay, and he he heard what we had to say. Okay, we was going through the the concept of uh, reincarnation. Yep. Put it in the camera. Yeah, same. for edification. Yep. Same. same. Yeah. You got it. Yep. So really, what happens is yep. we can, we come back with judgment. We go back to the spirit world, come back with judgment. Until the Lord says, okay, it's a time, it's enough. You know, because really, when the kingdom comes, it's what's going to be called an everlasting salvation. We're not going to have to worry about this no more. This and that's what it. we're looking for. We're this is it. To to this, no this is it. 2016, they say Happy New Year. You know, all this, they probably bring it more to They probably bring it to the world. Well, no, my question is, we got to get on that. No, no, no. Yep. Now, we was going in on how the judgment and, you know, the brother was talking about how we hope for, you know, a, a better place than this hell that we're living in right now. And this guy didn't want to, um, he couldn't receive it, I guess. Um, so it says, make no turian to turn to the Lord and put not all from day to day. Okay, and, and, and. You know, one of the things that uh, prompted me to do this video outside of um, me, uh, you know, coming across this article was he moved to another location. Okay, after we went and, uh, you know, moved, he moved to another location. Every time we came down, you know, he seemed like he was cool with us, you know. And, um, you know, we would always try to check and see what type of security guard is guarding the, the Bank of America. And we see like, oh, okay, uh, my man out there, you know, we so we we, we cool, cause we always used to have a problem with the security guards, cause you know they was coons, you know. But then he ended up leaving, you know, to another location, and then um, I saw him like three, two or three times, you know. After, you know, he kept on saying, hey, "Man, what's up, man? Where y'all at, man? You know, where y'all at right now, man?" And I told him where we was at, you know. So. Uh, it says, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly saw the wrath of the Lord come forth. And that's where this man just got shot down, okay, with no uh, suspect, okay. And and your security is crazy because what was he? A security guard, okay. It says, and then your security, thou shalt be destroyed, you know, trying to. You know, set up to, to, to um, oh, it says, in, in person, the day of vengeance, you know? So, he was about to try to, you know, celebrate his uh, 30th birthday, okay? Had, you know, a newborn child. Now, this these children have to grow up without a father, you know? And, and it's a sad situation, man. You know, but these things uh, must must come to pass. Now, I'm going to get this scripture, um, Amos 3 and 6. So a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people will not be afraid because the brother was going in on martial law. You know, the things that are about to come, you know, the RFID chip, and these people aren't afraid. Okay? It says, so there be an evil in a city, and the Lord hath not done it. And isn't this a, an evil in a city? Okay, a, 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 a man just so happened to get shot by a person and you know they don't know who the suspect is okay ultimately it's the lord who puts people to death okay uh first samuel uh two verse six it says the lord killeth and makes alive okay so the lord kills and makes alive so the lord is ultimately the one who did this evil or allowed this evil to happen okay and People aren't afraid, man. You know they they don't they don't uh, care about what we say. You know because they're carnal. They don't understand that the Lord is the one who's in charge of life and death. You know. So with that said, you know the the men of the Lord are out here teaching you the truth, man. You know, and if you don't come into the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the scriptures, and you know 
Is it a is it pertains to life, you know? The Lord can put you to death, man. Okay? So with that, you know, uh this will put fear in people, man. You know? Cause the Lord ain't playing games, man. Okay, so uh hopefully this was edifying. I wanna say shalom till next time.